for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Throw left side complete. It's Lee. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. the red zone now Vic that's complete right around the eight and they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone the Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down first and goal it looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal and this is caught for a Falcon touchdown Russell Gage there to make the grab. And the Falcons continue to pour it on. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Dolphins, nothing. Sterling Hoffrichter to kick off. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. A short kick, taking it. Now a hit and a loose football. Oftentimes when we talk about piling on in any subject, it's a negative. In this case, for this team, it's a real positive. Just scored, now they go down, knock the ball free, get it back. They got a chance to really increase their lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. On the other side, a little insult added to the injury. They're in a bad spot. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Vic to throw it. Forced out to his left. He'll run it. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. First down, Vic. And Graham's got it, complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. To throw again on second down, Vic. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Falcons add on. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Sterling Hoffrichter to kick off. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
And out come the Dolphins now. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. Get his man, it's Williams. Tunga Seven yards, the pick up there. Complete to Preston Working Williams. with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 36-yard line. Now Tua. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. And again, it's Tungavailoa. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie, A.J. Terrell. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Sliding out of the pocket, and now he's going to use his legs. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Despite the late lead, Vic's going to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. Pass the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First and 10 at the 15. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to take off with it. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. First down. First and goal at the five-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll try to throw it here. Vic. And it's caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Coup now for the point after. For the point after. 
And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Five plays there on that drive. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 32-yard The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this showing really not a good one on either side of the ball, but still three more preseason games to follow and a lot to play for here for the guys on the field now as they're hoping to secure that. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Intercepted. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. So here's Vic following the interception, being chased out left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time so when you do that and you're out there fresh playing off a little extra spring in your step and it showed up in this one they had a ton of spring in their step impressive victory so that's a wrap for charles davis i'm brandon gunn and this has been a presentation of the nfl on ea sports for more check us out at easports.com it's a win for the falcons here With a good first preseason matchup under my belt, coach called me into his office. I was hoping for good news. I tried to come to terms with the fact that my view for the rest of the year would be from the sidelines and not the line of scrimmage. But life has a way of surprising you sometimes. My chance to start a regular season game arrived unexpectedly in the middle of week seven. Our starter was injured and I was the next man up.
It took everything I had to calm my nerves. The preseason is one thing, but I'd be stepping out under the lights for real this time. Then we huddled up and headed out.